So I was a school teacher in Washington, D.C. public schools as a, a rookie fourth and fifth grade teacher. I had the privilege of, of working with a number of philanthropists and volunteers in Washington to be able to start what became known as Project 312, and, and I have a Dream Foundation model program um, that provided guaranteed scholarships to our fourth and fifth grade kids. During a, a stretch of doctoral research in sociology, um, we had to settle on a final dissertation project. And so the, the goal of that dissertation was to be able to um, compare the academic achievement of the Dreamer students in, in Project 312 with a comparison group of students down the hall who didn't have access to those interventions. And I still remember sitting there, it was the summer of 2008, and uh, I hit enter on the statistics package in the, in the computer and these green cascading numbers came flowing down the page and um, I learned for the first time that it, when it came to um, academic achievement, absence rates, um, pass and fail rates in their courses, credit accumulation, I mean some of the core parts of academic outcomes as we study them in high school that uh, our students had fared no better than comparable students who hadn't had access to this opportunity and my stomach hit the floor. Frankly, the, in that moment, I became incredibly committed to this idea of knowing exactly whether or not the, 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 the energy and resources and commitments that we make on behalf of young people are truly the things that are driving the outcomes that we think they are. And having that question, instead of it being a done deal where like, you know, we're trying to impress funders or schools or some external audience, it, it, it's not about them. It's not about being able to manufacture data for an external audience. It's, it, the most important thing is that we have access to information and we, we can create um, um, our own understanding for what it is that's driving success for young people themselves.